so I got a little like <clears throat> annoyed with my process of my hair. Ooh, my eyebrows look kind of nice. Um, and uh, I decided to cut off the sides of it because um, certain parts of my hair, I don't know if it is like straight because that's just how my hair is. Like I have more than one texture, which is plausible. Or if my hair is like um, still some parts of it still have permanent. So I've cut it down as much as I can, will giving it a, a better chance when it goes back in. I would actually be sure, sure or certain what I'm dealing with here. So um, I had it colored before and I was like, maybe I should just color it back to black. And like, if I color it black, it's gonna be slightly green-ish. And um, also it's just gonna be a constant thing. So I'd rather just try to dye it again. Um, so at least I'll be getting out of the way so that when it starts growing, the tips of my hair will be blonde, which is what I wanted to do. But when I got a little like, I had my hair like a gray silver color a couple months ago and I wanted to try to get it done and get it again. And I used a different color because I felt like the first one I used, even though the color was nice, it didn't stay long. So like I tried a different brand and it made the hair like dark blue. And it didn't take for all parts of my hair, so when I try to wash it out, you know what how it gets. Like it gets really like some parts are washed out, and it looks more brown, and so so it basically made a hot mess when I try to wash it out. So I redyed it. Um, usually, I always use like Splat as the brand I use to dye my hair, uh, but I felt like it kind of was messing with the texture of my hair too. So what I decided to get, I decided to get. Um, texture tones um, because I watched a few videos and I saw that uh, people with natural hair they will use this brand to try to um, color their hair and it worked great usually when I use like splat I have two parter thing where I dye it and it color it will turn blonde but it will be like a mixed color of blonde this is a more even out color I think it's even out than I would get from um, splat so I think this is a better where I don't have to really necessarily Unless I really wanted it to be brighter, which I think this is fine. I could just leave it like this. So it's still wet. And now I am going to... I bought this. Which is not like a really, really great brand. But I just needed something to help moisturize my hair. Because it's super dry. All the time. Super dry. I want to buy some natural hair products online because it will be cheaper than me going in stores and spending like 10 bucks on like a small bottle of, of, just because it's specifically for natural hair which I think is ridiculous. I do use, um, since I've cut it and even before I cut it, I used to use, I, I use this, the Oregon Oil uh, Spray In Shine and Conditioner but I still feel like my hair be mad dry. And yeah, I just want to try it out and see if I like it. Um, I should have read this before I came here. This is Queen Helene Cholesterol Hair Conditioning Cream. I should have read it before I got it. I thought it would be like a leave-in thing. It's not. It's more like keep this in for like 10, 20 minutes and then wash it out, which is just like... I want to just leave you in and then be done with my day. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so I'm going to wash out my hair and I'll see you guys later and let you know how it comes out. My hair is not completely the way that it's that I want it, so there's some few things that I think that I need to do. So, uh, what I usually do to help um, it a little better, I use a curl brush, and then I basically will just spin around and around and around. Uh, I like to use the smaller side because there's two different sides. You go around and around. I think the smaller side does a better job of curling it. So because I don't want it to be spiking up in different different directions, I'll like fix it. It's still a little bit messy. But that's how I do it to get it a little bit curly. So that's a little bit better. And then I have <coughs> this comb and I use this side towards the sides of my hair. So I will use my spray and spray the sides of my hair. So that it's a little looser. I don't like doing it in the center because it gets a little like weird. But then I'll just go 
Yeah, I could use the thing, but I feel like it, it's easier with the the comb. Because it's just only two of them, two rows I'm really doing. Try to spin around and stop. Get the front a little bit better. Now for the rest of everything else, I'll just brush it down. And that's it. Now I'm done with my hair. So I got it to be a little bit better than it was last week. Oh, I like this a little bit better. Before it was a little like too disorganized and spiky for me so I wasn't like madly in love with it this is a little bit better for me and I think it's cute so it's a little bit more manageable <clears throat> and when it grows in it will be like the way I want where the center is more so when it grows out the tips of it will be blonde and the rest of it can be black if you like this video like and subscribe and I'll uh, share more videos uh, as I continue with my natural hair journey all right Bye. I'll be waiting here. Don't come and meet me. You know how to be me. I'll be waiting here.